Well, hello again, and welcome back to my playthrough of Cyberpunk 2077. <laughs> well, we're getting ready to break into this guy's penthouse. And try not to raise an alarm while we do it. Why are we doing this? Well, this is another one of those gigs that we've got. This one here is called Fixer Merc Soldier Spy. And what we want to do is steal this Russian's data shard. That's what we're going to do. We're going to try to do it anyway. Uh, I was curious about um, what's up here on the next floor. Like, uh, yeah, it looks like there's an exit here, but we can't go out that exit. And then I was also curious about what uh, was on floors beneath us. Like, how far down will the game let me go? You know, I mean, it's certainly not going to let me go down all 20-some floors, right? I mean, in a way, it would be neat if it did. <laughs> it would be kind of cool in a way. This is, um, whoa, look at that. That's pretty neat looking. I mean, I guess it's a glitch of some kind, but you could say that that panel is just glitched out here in this swanky place. I'm curious, man. How far down will the game let us go? Oh, it looks like we found it. Oh, those are not very safe stairs. They only let you go down this far. Well, okay then. There you go. That's it. That's as far down as you could go. Well, let's try to sneak into this place and be quiet, keep an eye out for cameras and all that kind of stuff. It's sending me out here. But uh, let's see, let's go back up here to the top. And, uh, oh, wait a minute now. Where, we were outside before. How did I get out there? Did I go out this way? Oh, no, I, well, whatever, we're in. <laughs> we are in. Uh, look at my mini map. All the people that I see are actually on the floors beneath me. I think, if I'm reading this correctly. I love exploring these places. It's so much fun. Okay, so we need to go in there. Uh, there's an elevator here. I guess this is a private elevator. It's, we are unauthorized. We can't call it. Here's a penthouse access token. Well... Now we're authorized. We could call the elevator and uh, use it to get the heck out of here, I guess, at some point. Hopefully I just haven't called somebody else up here by calling that elevator. Here it comes. I don't think there's anybody on it. No. So there's our private elevator. Let's uh, open the door here and immediately look for cameras. That's what I'm going to look for first. That's what I was, I guess, mostly concerned about don't see any right off. This place look like it looks like it's decorated pretty interestingly. These purple colored lights. We are now in a hostile area. And I think I hear some music playing somewhere. Obtain his data shard. Now look at my mini map up there. There's actually two exclamation points on there. I don't know why, but there are. Oh! Said someone, but you shouldn't be on that balcony or something. Oh, jeez. What? Миш, хватит. Это вопрос государственной безопасности. Может, бросим все и просто останемся здесь. Мне нравится этот город. Он принимает всех потерянных, отвергнутых, отчаявшихся, заманивает, втирается в доверие и обирает их до нитки. Миш, что ты несешь? Мы еще даже не закончили с переговорами. Как скажешь, милая. Я просто пошутил. Пошутил и будет. Okay, whatever the heck they were talking about. Let's go ahead and mark her. She's apparently strong. She's got the fist over top of her head there. So her abilities are break, hold, send, send the beast in mark one, charge jump and Karenzikov. Interesting. And then over here. Got this guy. That's Mikhail right there. That's him. So, like I said, there's two two exclamation marks on my uh, mini map here. Oh gosh, she's not coming over here, is she? Oh okay, she's gonna stand right there. And this guy is out there on the balcony. So I don't know if there's any reason for me to go up here other than just to explore. So I'm gonna go up here and I don't know, see if this 
gives us any other opportunity. He's out here talking to somebody. The technology will be bought. Consider it done. So he's come here to do some kind of deal. I hear music playing. I thought it was a camera at first, but it's, a, it's just some music. Here's an office, it looks like. Here we've got... 651 euro dollars. Well, we might as well do some stealing while we're here. 96 more euro dollars right there. Oh, what's he talking about now? I can't quite get the text to translate. Darn it. Eh. Okay. Alright, you guys need to quit talking so that I can concentrate. Oh, he's still talking. Oh, he's, he's gonna go out for a smoke. So, do we need to get the, char the shard from his body? I'm gonna guess not. But you know me, I sure would like to take these guys out. Of course, well... If I, if I knock them out, they're going to know I was here, but it, that's not necessarily raising the alarm either. So, I don't know. Let's see what's on this computer. Just for fun. Local network, we've got uh, a surveillance system, which I can take over and look out at. So, here's a cool balcony. There's Mikhail right there. Yeah, this is a great camera, man. This thing... Look at this awesome pet house. I mean, you got views in that direction, over in that direction, in that direction. I mean, this is amazing. And there's another camera. Whoops, I pressed the wrong damn thing. All right, hold on. Hold on. Let's go back in here. Remote takeover. We got this camera. And then we've got this camera here. And we're not done yet. There's even another balcony on the other side. Gives you a view of even a different part of the city. Oh, this is awesome. Gosh. Very cool. Okay, so they're both in there now. Uh, there might be something else to look at on this thing. Messages. Stage of deliberations from some encrypted account to Mikhail. Comrade, report your progress. Mikhail to encrypted account. Comrade General, deliberations continue smoothly, but I need more time to reach a compromise. It is possible we must make a new offer. Also, we must watch our neighbors to the south. They too are attempting to build rapport with the Japanese. And then here's something uh, from Shelma to Mikhail on network, on hotel network security. We have control over hotel network systems and enable a VPN. All messages you write will be encrypted and inaccessible from outside the network. Heh. <laughs> well, I'm inside the network, so har har har. And we could, um... Well, it acts like we could steal money from this thing. No, maybe not. And look at this cool view he's got out of his office right here. Uh, this is This is great. Um, I think I see, yeah, these cameras here. Hold on, I need to turn these off, don't I? There we go. We'll just turn them off from here. We'll do that. There, now we don't have to worry about the cameras. Although on my mini-map, it looks like they're still on. So there's him, there's her. They're just walking around. I thought I saw another room over here. Yeah, there's a room over here. I just want to see if we can go in it, just for fun. Oh, okay. So this is how we get out on this balcony. Oh my gosh. I want to make this, I want to knock these guys out and make this my penthouse. This place is awesome. I mean, how cool is this place? Ooh, there's some goodies over here, it looks like. Keeps his stash of secondhand Red Death Windbreaker pants over there. Well, they're mine now, buddy boy. Uh, too cool of a view. Too cool of a view. 
Love it. Yeah, there's one of the cameras right there. So, ah, man. I want to look around this place freely, but I... I mean, really, if I knock them out, that won't raise the alarm. But I feel like, if you really think about it, if I knock them out, when they come to, they're going to know I was here. But I don't really know how else I'm going to do this, to tell you the truth. The thing I'm looking for... Oh, it's right there. So he keeps walking out there, and she just keeps walking around standing here, standing there. Here we've got... Like a home office, conference room kind of thing. It's kind of dark in here. Ooh. Whoa, neat. Oh, and yet another balcony. As if those other balconies weren't enough, here's yet another one. Well, this is one of the coolest penthouses I've ever seen. And let me tell you, I've seen many penthouses in my day. Okay, I really haven't. Uh, here is, um, yeah, Arasaka and Ornithology. We've read that before. And, um, you know, there's uh, some beverages here and there. Over here, we've got some more Euro dollars. 650 Euro dollars. Here's 86 more. Oh my gosh, this guy has money just laying all over the place. I'm sitting here talking about not raising an alarm. Well, they're going to notice that all this money's gone, aren't they? <laughs> I have to think that if I had a video card with ray tracing that it would look a lot different in here. Because really, I don't really feel like it should be like that glow. You know, it should instead just make this room much brighter now that we've opened those up. Because the room itself... I don't know if I could shut these now that I've opened them. I mean, is the room itself any brighter or with these open now? Right? I mean, look at the room. And then if I... Oh, it's opened right back up. What the hell? There. See see what the room looks like? And then if I open this... The room should get brighter. Right? But it's not. It's not getting any brighter at all. So yeah, I wonder if I had... Uh, if my card did ray, tr ray tracing if it would get brighter in here. I don't know, man. Just like everybody else, I can't find a video card with ray tracing. Not that I'd buy one right now. I mean, I've got a... A 1080 in this thing. There's nothing wrong with that. It's a good card. Especially since I just do 1080p gaming. Uh, so here's the bedroom. It's got uh, something here. Again, the local network. It's just, I mean, turn off. They're already turned off, aren't they? Messages. These are the same messages as before. So, did I just turn the cameras back on, or what? I don't know. It looked like I turned them off, but... Give me a couple max docs. Uh, let's steal some money from this Joker. Why not? Okay, we could do, um... BD, 7A, 7A... Ah, shoot, I screwed up. There we go, we do that. And then we do... One... Ah, crap, I can't do it. I can't get to 7A after this. Or no. 7A... BD. I got them all. I got all three of them. Haha, <laughs> we stole over 2,000 Euro dollars from them. We stole a lot of stuff from this guy. <laughs> okay. So, I think I am going to have to knock them out in order to do what I want to do and get what I want to get. And besides, like I said, all this stuff that I've already stolen, it's going to be pretty obvious that I was here anyway. Whoa! That was just bad timing all around right there. So I think we're going to have to maybe go downstairs and wait till he walks out there and then take care of her when he's out there. And just kind of time it right. That's what we're going to have to do. Okay, so he stands there. She stands there. Let's, um... Oh, crap. She's going to come over here now. Now, he's probably going to go out and walk back out there. But there won't be anything I could do with her standing right here. So we're just gonna have to just have to wait for the right right opportunity, the right time. So we'll just play a little waiting game right here. Yep, that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna stand around and wait for them to move. And we know they're gonna move around because they've been moving around a lot already. So uh, yeah, we just need to be patient. That's all.
That's all. Yep. Mm -hmm. Just be patient. Do I need to move? Does the position that I... Okay, so he's getting ready to move. He's going to go back outside. Now, she needs to move, man. Because I can't get to her when she's got her back to the wall here. Okay, she's going to walk over there. And this is kind of risky. Boy, she's acting kind of erratically. Okay, we'll take her down. I need to move quick, though, because he's going to come back in here in just a moment, I'm sure. Uh... I can't see him. We're just going to go bring her upstairs. He won't see her up there. I'm not sure what I picked up from her. I'm not sure if it was anything useful or not, but I picked it up anyway. Just real quick. <laughs> let's uh, let's put her in the bed here. <laughs> here, we'll just we'll throw her down on the bed. Oh, for crying out loud. Come on, game. I'm trying to be nice and put her on the bed here. Come on throw her on the floor. How rude. Here, we'll, we'll make her sleep on the bed like V sleeps on the bed. And? Okay, the game's not going to let me put her on the bed. <laughs> She's just going to lay face down. Can I, can I at least put her dead face up? Okay, what if I get on the bed? What if I stand right here? Oh, 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 oh. There we go. That's pretty good. Doesn't look very comfortable, but... What am I doing? Why are her eyes open? She's not dead. Right? I'll tell you what though, she's not moving. I guess she kind of is. Uh, oh, she just blinked. Okay, she's, you're creeping me out, lady. <laughs> okay. So, we're gonna have to, once again, wait for him to walk out there and when he does, we'll get down here and we'll be ready to pounce, knock him out, and then we can explore the downstairs too. Okay, he's turned around, and I think he just goes out there. It's F5 it just so I don't screw this up. I think he just goes out there and stands facing away. Yeah, he's going to lean over here, so it's going to be pretty easy to take out. And these cameras should be turned off. I'm going to be upset if they're not. Okay. And he's down. All right. I turned off that radio, but didn't stop the music. What do you got on you? Anything good? Here's an archive conversation between Maxim Povetkin and Mikhail Akalov. Maxim. Mikhail, you don't fuck around on these solo trips into the city, do you? You go off on your own and we get fucked. At least take Nadezhda with you and quit cutting comms. Seriously, it's unprofessional. We don't give a shit what you talk about. Remember Demir in Istanbul? Exactly. He shut down his comms and see how he ended up? Well, okay. Um, pick him up. There's no, there's no reason to pick him up. I'm just, I'm just tidying up. Here, let's see if I can slap him down on the couch over here. Because I'm thoughtful. I'm thoughtful like that. And... <laughs> All right, whatever, dude. Max Doc, I'm not going to pick that up yet, because you never know. Sometimes it triggers things, and I kind of want to look around a little bit first. Here, we can just walk around. Do, 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 do. I'm not sure where that music is coming from. Oh, it's coming from this speaker. Okay, I mean, look at this place. A nice little place out here to sit outside and eat. Oh, man hand fan, you know, in case it's, you're hot. Oh, wait a minute. You know what we need to do, right? You know what we need to do. Okay, so that camera's turned off. Let's let's explore a little bit, and then we'll do what we need to do, and you know what it is. You know what we need to do. Uh, here's another penthouse access token. I've already got one of those. Ice machine. In here, we've got... Dubai, Sand and Death. Which I don't know whether I read that or not. Here. This house doesn't have any bathrooms in it. Did you notice that? There's no bathrooms in this house. Where do they go to the bathroom? 
It's not even on an ensuite. This place is a dump. Well, we might as well steal more money from him, right? Make me go through all this trouble. Okay, let's see here. Uh, oh crap. Well. Okay, we did that. Now I need, uh, E9. Hmm. I can't get to 7ABD after this, though. Oh, well. That's fine. Only 364. Yeah, there's there's no bathrooms in this house. And now 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 I don't want it anymore. This place is dumb. Penthouse access token again. A Tonto and Mikhail's shard. Okay, now we need to leave the hotel. So we got the shard. Can I look at the shard? Am I allowed to look at the shard? That's not the button I wanted to press. Shards. So, I mean, I, you know really hate the way they've done this. Okay, well, I mean, his shard, I don't even know what category it would be under. Um, I mean, look, there's two others. Look, there's an other up here and an other down here, so go figure. I guess maybe it would help if I um, clicked on these ones that are marked as new. And that way, whenever I did pick a new one up, all I had to do was look for the one marked as new. Right? You know what I'm saying. But, um... Yeah, as far as this shard that we just picked up... It doesn't look like we can, we can look at it, unfortunately. Man, I, this is this is just terrible. This thing... When, when, you, when you click on this to expand it, it goes up. Expands up. It's kind of dumb. Okay, nothing else new. So, yeah, I mean, who knows where this shard is. Sometimes you can't look at the shards. thought maybe we could plug it in and maybe get some more information or something, but uh, that's not going to happen. Yeah, nothing else new. Okay, whatever. So, we've looked around this place. We've gotten what we came here to get, so now we're going to have a little bit of fun before we leave. A little bit of F5 fun, right? You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> We're way up here on top of this building. We need to jump. <laughs> Let's see. Oh crap! Oh, I wasn't ready to jump yet. I wasn't ready. Oh man, this is dangerous. Oh my gosh, look. Oh gosh. Oh man. Oh, there's like a, a tree here. All right. Well, um, I guess with the jumping from here is a good place. Although I like to jump from higher. This is kind of neat. I'm down here, like maybe looking into somebody else's apartment or something. Yeah, let's see here. Let's see, there's a... Uh, yeah, there's a balcony up there. That's actually technically higher, but... <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, man. Well, um... There we go. Look how far down that is. Are you ready? You ready for this? We're gonna jump. I, I'm gonna. I, I did F5 it, so we're safe. We're safe. We'll be okay. All right. I, normal, normally, I look that way. I'm gonna look down this time. Uh, oh. <laughs> we completed the quest. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's just fun. Load game. Quick save. Confirm. It's just fun. I don't know. It's one of those things you don't do in real life. Or if you do, you only do it once. Don't do it. 
but it's, it's kind of fun. I like getting up real high up here and just, um, that's, you know, one of the fun things about, uh, playing video games. You do things that you normally would not do in real life. Got this little place up here. I don't think I could jump high enough to get on top of this building. No, not even close. It would be fun if I could. It's it's really neat how it's got this kind of like Japanese motif to it, huh? I think it's pretty cool. And I'm pretty sure I can't get on top of this fence here. Or even on top of this tree. Um, to try to jump up on top of the building. Okay. Well, I don't know. What do you say? Enough screwing around? We get out of here. We complete this quest without raising an alarm. Even though it's going to be blatantly obvious that I've been here. But that's, uh, that's not what the quest says. It just says don't raise the alarm, and I did not. Well, that was fun. I liked this one. Leave the hotel. We'll take the private elevator down, maybe. Yes, down to reception. And hopefully nobody's going to say anything to us here. I mean, I don't think anybody will. I hope not. Uh, these guys are still marked. I was just getting ready to say, I wonder if these guys that we marked earlier are still marked. I might do an F5 before we walk out of here, too, just to make sure. I don't think there will be a problem. I've got a card. Right? So, we should be able to just walk on out. There is no back way out. Oh, wow, I could use my technical ability to get in here. I don't know. Just wanted to see what was in here, that's all. Could steal from the hotel. Oh, let's just, uh, let's look at the computer, why not, man? I don't know. He's got some messages. Space rental terms. Uh, from Vasily Vasilievich Bruyakanov to Hotel Raito Management. The Union of Soviet Socialist Republics seeks a cooperation agreement with Hotel Raito. We wish to rent a space where Comrade Mikhail Sergevich Akalov and his security detail can reside for one month. Our terms include 1. An entire floor dedicated to Comrade Akalov. 2. Restricted access given only to Comrade Akalov's security detail. 3. All surveillance cameras on Comrade Akalov's floor must be deactivated. 4. Our agents must be granted full access to hotel security systems. With respect, Vasily. And then they write back and said, they say, Dear Comrade Bruyakanov, it is an honor you have chosen Hotel Raito. We will be pleased to welcome a distinguished representative from the USSR. We truly appreciate your trust and hope you will consider us for all future stays in Night City. We can certainly accommodate the terms of Comrade Akalov's stay with us. Best regards, Hotel. Stuff to sell. Uh, from Roy Wilson and Hotel Raitu to Show Davis. Dude got another package to lose. Some neo-kitsch tits and whatnot. Pretty solid haul. You gonna send somebody? Not hitting the market myself with it. Show Davis writes back and says, We should keep cool on it. Policewoman's patrolling the market now. If she spots anything from the hotel, you might have a prob. But all the same to me. You wanna send someone? It's all you. And ain't you afraid to be using work email? And he writes back and says, As a chum of mine says, Afraid to thieve, you shan't receive. So, I-D-G-A-F. And that's I don't give a fuck, in case you didn't know. It's hot, I want it out, and I need the eddies. Wow, what the hell? Okay, so somebody who works for the hotel is selling stuff. Some neo-kitch tits and whatnot, whatever the hell that is. Okay, well, the things you find out when you go digging through other people's emails. Uh, 13 euro dollars, uh, an elevator access token. We've already got all those things. Max stock. Oh, man, I was hoping that this would be a, a way out. I don't dare open this because the dude's sitting right there. Uh, so, um, we're just going to go ahead and uh, walk out of here. We'll even shut the door behind us because that's the kind of guy I am. And, uh, you know... Just, uh, just waltz on out of here. Do, do, do. Nothing to see here. Just a guy leaving the hotel. See you later. And there you go. That's it. 
we finished that gig. Now we need to call Regina. Or she's gonna call us. Regina Jones! Shard is secure. Nice work. Sending you the drop-off coordinates. Klein will be waiting for you there. Uh, who am I meeting, anyway? Why do I feel like a corpo agent right now? What's all this about? China. They're the client. China, huh? I thought you never liked swimming with the sharks. Everyone's got debts, V. You do what you gotta do. Well, what happens if you can't pay it off? What happens if you can't pay it off? Why do you think we're scraping the barrel into gigs here? So I don't have to find out. Okay, well what kind of debt are we talking about? What kind of debt? Just something from my muckraking days. Needed help and fast, too. Help for what? I'm sorry, do you hear me poking around your personal biz, digging through your past? No, suppose not. Just teasing me. Sort of. If it's all the same to you, I'd rather just get this over with and move on. So you heading to the meet or what? I'm on my way. I'm on route. Pete, wait. Oh, yeah? When you get there, no questions. Makes them real cranky. Try my best. <laughs> Well, you know damn well that when we get there, we're going to have the opportunity to ask a lot of questions. You know that. And it's going to be very difficult for me not to ask those questions. So we'll see what happens. So that's the hotel we were just in. I'm kind of hoping you could look up. Oh, yes, you sure can. Look at that. There it is right there. There's that, like, kind of Japanese motif up there on the very top where we were. And, uh, that is, uh, yeah, there's that railing. There's the, I think that's the balcony we jumped off of right there. That's cool. I like that. Love it. Oh, hey, how you doing? Okay. What do you want? You have blood on your face? Uh, maybe it's not blood. I'm waiting for a friend. Okay. Oh, jeez. Sorry. Sorry, Mr. Zombie. It's a big crosswalk. Huh. How far am I going? Okay, not much further. Hmm, good. Couple of dudes here from Tiger Claws. Don't know if they're gonna give me any trouble. I'll just walk on by. I don't know, man. Oh, new message from Rogue. Oh, Rogue. Okay, hold on. Uh, I'm chatting with my people, and it looks like we might have a lead on Grayson. Okay, well, everything's fine. I'm ready. What's the play? Sit tight for now. I need to comb through some intel, but it looks promising. Okay. Whoops. Anyway, I was getting ready to say, like, playing this game makes me excited for what's what's to come in the future. I mean, look at look at this city they've created here. You know? And I mean you think about computers and video game consoles just getting more and more powerful all the time. What's next? I mean, well, they make a city where you can go in all of the buildings. <laughs> Look how tall that building is. I don't know. I like it. I like it a lot. This is neat. Just the way this sits here like this. It's just a nice touch. Makes it look like the whole building just rests on this thing right here. <laughs> it's pretty cool. <laughs> just a neat design. I don't know, it looks like this whole building, maybe it's like earthquake proof or something. I just dig it so much. What's in here? S uh, weird. Sandivist and Tiger Paw. Huh. Cyberware mod. Alright, whatever. Alright, here's, here's the... Okay, I want to F5 it. Because uh, I think I want to ask him some questions just to see what happens. Because she said don't ask him questions. Hello. Oh. For a moment there, it looked like I had something else to... Oh, to this guy. Is there some kind of password? Dimly lit 
coroner, run limo, suits and ties. Is there a code word I'm missing? Some P. Not one for small talk, huh? ID. Uh, okay. Hand over the shard. Okay, we're done. Oh, that was neat. <laughs> Rolls up the window. <laughs> I dig it, man. I like it. <laughs> this sort of gig, no hiccups? Yeah. Quiet as a roach? That's how I work. Color me impressed. Well, I'm awesome. Contract closed, and thanks. You're welcome. You're welcome. Oh, we need to collect a bonus from a drop point now. One more thing. There's an extra bonus in the drop point for your excellent work. All right. Whoops. Talk on it. Let's go get it. Get our extra bonus. Looks like it's right back over where we just were. Thanks for making me walk all over the place, Regina. I mean, what is that thing right there? Some kind of fan? the street here but strange huh. man this is taking me on a dangerous path I'm not sure this is the right way to go where the hell is this thing taking me 100 meters in that direction but where exactly <laughs> I don't know. If we could make any sense out of this. Reward. It's down beneath me here. Down here. Strange. Spare a veteran some change. Homeless guy. Uh, sure. Here you go. Here. All yours. Bless all good and you. God bless. Alright, best of luck to you, pal. Uh, collect rewards. Alright, 4,400 euro dollars. <laughs> that was fun. I like that. Okay, we're not ready to meet Hanako yet. Hanako, whatever her name is. Let's bring up our gigs again. So what we're doing is we're still waiting for Rogue to call us, waiting for that to happen. I've been told to do this I Fought the Law quest here, uh, and I am curious to do it, but I kind of hate to get into this while I'm waiting for her to call me back. So I think my plan is to do this and then this. So in the meantime, we need to find something to do nearby. And we look at the map and we'll see that uh, this is the closest thing right here. <laughs> Look at this path it's taking me on. So, um, let's go ahead and uh, go there. We'll call a vehicle over here because it looks like it's a very convoluted path that it wants me to take. So we'll see where our vehicle shows up. Okay, it's sitting here by this car. Oh, jeepers! What did you run over my foot? I can't move. Whoa. Okay, then. Not sure what happened there. Let's get on this thing and get the hell out of here. Telling me to turn around. Alright, here we go. Let's go for a ride. We'll see where this is taking us. Turn left here. Ooh, and I really botched that. <laughs> yeah, good grief. Man. I really wonder how they do pathfinding in a game like this. Look at this path that it's taken me on. OK. 
Okay. Well, whatever we're looking for is right back here. Maybe another cyber psycho sighting. I have a, I have a feeling that's what this is going to be. Yeah, that's exactly what this is going to be. V, we got data from Jotaro's private server. Oh, maybe not. Found out who's been procuring people for his recordings. Meet Jay Hume, human trafficker and bona fide piece of shit. Check the sitch out for me. Deets attached. So Jotaro was the guy who he had that club that we went in and we cleared everybody out. Like apparently he was like really into these hardcore BDs or he made them or something. So this is a gun for hire gig. Our target is Jay Hyun. Location rooftop slums near Allen Street. Here's the details. Countless dreamers head to big cities in search of a fresh start. And so many of them have nowhere to return to. Outcasts, loners, rejects, Jay Hyun's put a target put a targets on the back of those societies failed. And there's no shortage of them in Night City. Here's the rundown on Jay Hyun's meat grinder. He identifies some poor bastard, kidnaps them, and delivers them to scavs for biomon or other cyberware removal. They're stripped of their identities and end up the property of some shitbag like Jotaro to do with as they please. Of course, no one really looks for these people, and even if they did, where would they start? What are the odds to find someone in Night City who doesn't exist? Let's face it, Jay Hyun is just one head of the Hydra, but fuck it, let's chop it off anyway. Could be a good while before more grow back in his place. Well, this guy just sounds like a total treat. Let's see how this goes, man. Go to the slums. It's called Small Man Big Evil. Okay. Find Jay Hyun in the restricted part of the slums. Oh. Uh huh. So these guys are scavs. And uh, we're going to do a ping on one of these guys just to see who else is hiding back there. Did I not ping him? Oh, okay, there we go. I mean, we got somebody up there. We got somebody there. I can't mark him. Somebody over there. A vulture. Oh, God, I hate it when I can't mark him. Man, way over there. So there's a ton of these guys up through here. Can I mark you now? No? That's very annoying. Okay, well, I'm going to figure out how we're going to do this. Thinking of maybe trying to get at him from up above. Do a little sneaky sneak up here. So we don't really know where this guy is. We need to find him somewhere in this place. This is kind of fun. Up here on top this place. Okay, we got those two guys. This guy here, I don't think we need to worry about. We are now in a hostile area. Oh, crap. We got this guy over here. <laughs> I don't even know if it's going to work. Huh, the game is making noises like as if I've been spotted. Kind of a risky move, but uh, we're gonna do it. Get rid of her. Oh, oh, oh! Crap! I hate it when I don't know who sees me. Who was it who just spotted me? Oh, that guy. Okay. I don't know if he's gonna see this body or not. He probably will. They're freaking so. They're so eagle-eyed. We got these two guys down here. They're gonna be impossible to take out. Oh. Crap, something's flying around over there. Not the satellite dish, but it was something flying right there. That's kind of scary. So we got this guy here, get that guy up there. I hesitate to drop down because, I mean, there could be cameras around here that we haven't seen yet, but I'm going to do it anyway. 
take him down. Who sees me? Somebody to my right. Oh, I'm dead. Well, we have now alerted them to our presence. Uh, that was very, very stupid of me, let's face it. It was really dumb. Oh gosh, he's just a shooting at me. Well, oh, ooh, that hurts. Whatever that was that he just shot me with. <laughs> okay, that's that's fine. That's fine, man. I don't care. I'm alright with that. I mean, there's nothing that says that I have to sneak in here. Um, but that was just dumb when I dropped down there. That was dumb. I shouldn't have done that. I hadn't properly scoped the area out, so this is a little... To don't do what I do kind of thing. Whoa. Man, that guy still sees me. Damn. Or not. No, Here they saw me. All right, see, if if it's going to be that way, we'll just go back. I don't, I don't want him to see me. Start this over again. I, I don't know, I just... He saw me and I tried to get out of the way, but I backed up into that air conditioning unit or something and I couldn't get around it. Okay. So we got this guy here who is marked. Then we got this guy here who's not marked, but he is now. Alright, so. Ass bitch. Oh. Show yourself. Oh, okay. So that's Je that's him right there. That's Jay Hyun right there. I mean this Dang it, switch to the number one gun, dude. Alright. Alright, number one should be my sniper weapon. I don't know why this is in slot number one. I was trying to switch to Overwatch here. Because these guys don't have a chance when, I, when I've got Overwatch. I mean, even that guy way over there, he's just over there minding his own business, doesn't have a chance. You know? And these guys are all scum anyway. So the hell with all of them. We'll just take them all out, make it all nice and quiet around here. Take out the garbage. Ah, hell, I missed. Damn, I don't know what he's shooting at me, but it hurts. That's the dude we're after right there. He's down. I'm gonna get this jerk. Okay. And then, uh... Get this thing flying around over here. I don't know what it is. But we'll get rid of it as well. <laughs> and the music goes to calm. <laughs> it's just not fair, man. <laughs> This weapon is not fair. Alright, where is this guy? Break the fence with my super strength. Here he is. Oh, oh damn it. Oh, crap. Ah, oh, shoot. Okay, cool. Uh, we need to pick him up and leave the area. That's what I need to do. Now I need to carry him to the fixer's vehicle. Oh, jeez. Darn it. I didn't want to drop him. Okay, how do I get out of here? That's what I want to know. I have no idea how to get out of this place. Need to carry him to a vehicle. Oh my gosh, look where we are. I don't think there's a legit way out of here. Huh. <laughs> he kind of like fell down here in this like in-between area. Oh, I can't seem to jump my super jump with him on my shoulder. Oh crap, man. What do I do? Guess we'll do this. Nothing to be afraid of. Oh, that's it. Jay Hume's dead. What? And here I thought oh. nothing would cheer me up today. <laughs> Great. Consider the gate closed. Okay. Well, I guess he died when I jumped down here. 
And I guess he was alive for a moment, but now she's happy. So, oh well. <laughs> Alright, that ought to do that. <laughs> not, not the cleanest way to do things, but whatever works. Alright, well, that's good a time to end this episode as any. We're still waiting on Rogue to give us a call. Come on, Rogue. I ain't got all damn day. Come back next time. Uh, I guess we'll look for more things to do while we wait for Rogue to call us. Days are long here in Night City. Why don't you come back in the next episode and find out what happens next. Thank you so much for joining me on this episode. If you enjoyed it, why don't you let me know. Leave me a like or a comment. Thanks for watching. See you next time.